2022 Ford Bronco Raptor First Drive, Ford's Ultra 4-inspired SUV can off-road better than your 4x4. With roots tracing back to 1966, Ford has truly honored the off-road heritage of its Bronco brand with an Ultra 4-inspired SUV that compromises nothing for the dirt enthusiast. The Bronco Raptor is unapologetically fast across rough tracks, confident and composed on the blacktop, and one of the most adept machines available from the factory for picking through hair-raising obstacles. Ultra 4 Racing is an off-road decathlon. Excelling at these events requires a machine that can navigate punishing mud and deep sand, grind across rocks, twist over logs, and throw down the raw power to conquer sloppy hill climbs and the open desert. Ultra 4 Racing is at the heart of the Bronco Raptor's design, and the integration of competition-validated equipment elevates it beyond the other vehicles in the Bronco lineup, where it joins the ranks of the Ford F-150 Raptor and the Ranger Raptor, for global markets. Ford Bronco Family Until now, the Bronco family has consisted of the Bronco Sport, a four-door SUV sporting independent suspension at each corner, the two, or four-door Ford Bronco, an SUV with independent suspension in the front, a live rear axle, and trim levels offering different powertrains, wheel and tire packages, locking differentials, dampers, and other accessories, and the Bronco DR, a limited edition, 5.0 liter V8 powered, off-road only Bronco with a roll cage, 35-inch tires, and other race-ready. Accountaments. Bronco Raptor enters the stable somewhere between those last two rigs as a four-door-only SUV powered by the 3.0-liter twin-turbo EcoBoost V6. Goals for the Bronco Raptor were simple, uphold the Raptor name by covering the rugged desert at freeway speeds, and sacrifice nothing when faced with gnarly rock crawling. Intrigued. We were. Does Bronco Raptor have a V8? Let's get some facts straight. Yes, Bronco Raptor has the turbocharged 3.0 liter V6. No, as with the other members of the Bronco lineup, there is no solid front axle. But don't let these items get in the way of what the new Bronco can do. Ford opted for the twin-turbo 3.0-liter V6, a power plant that makes exactly 400 horses in its Explorer GT, partially because it was practical from a production standpoint, and adding the 3.0 to the assembly line that's already set for the 2.3 and 2.7-liter was simple. Also, by cutting induction losses to the turbos and reducing back pressure in the exhaust, improving cooling, and managing engine weight, the engineer squeezed final figures of 418 horsepower and 440 pound-foot of torque out of the engine. Bronco Raptor Grill Approaching the Bronco is an intimidating experience as it is almost identical in width to the F-150 Raptor, and 6.3 inches wider than the Wild Track Bronco. Ford lettering stamps the grille where Bronco stands on the standard Bronco and because of the monstrous 80 plus inch width, a trio of amber marker lights lives just below the hood line. Clearance LED lights, denoting the extents of the Bronco Raptor's width, are also found on the ends of the mirrors because both the hardtop and the fender flares, usual mounting locations for these markers, are modular removable parts. Like the standard Bronco, the mirrors stay with the body, even if the owner chooses to remove the doors, roof, and fender flares. Bronco Raptor, 37-inch BF Goodrich all-terrain tires come stock. Providing coverage for the class-leading 37X 12.50R 17 BF Goodrich T or KO2 all-terrains meant employing fender flares similar in design to those on the Bronco DR as on standard Broncos, the flares are modular and can be replaced or removed completely. The larger flares required a reshaping of the fuel door and the sub's width necessitated a tail light design that was also influenced by the Bronco DR mounting the 37-inch full-size spare to the tailgate is done with a custom-built bracket that's reinforced to handle the dynamic weight of the tire when driving off-road. The bracket is also ready for aftermarket customization with provisions for affixing accessories like fuel cans or off-road jacks. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.